Hi there. This video is about how to use the uh, make file to make your programs. Um, it's actually very simple. Uh, there's only a few things you really need to know, but we're going to dig into uh, what make does uh, a little bit uh, just to kind of familiarize yourself with it. Um, if you have a folder, and most of our assignments are going to come with make files built into the, uh, the starter code, um, if you have a make file and you type make, well, it runs a bunch of commands that are built into that make file to actually compile your program using GCC. So, for instance, um, when I type make, it ended up typing GCC dash G dash O zero dash blah blah blah, and it compiled our program. And in this case, we can say hello, and it actually um, prints out hello world in three different languages. Um, so, what is a make file, and why do we use make? Well. Make files are nice if you have programs that have multiple different program code files, like multiple different C files. Like you'll notice up here, I have uh, hello world.c and hello language.c, and uh, we also have a hello h file like that. And uh, make files make it so that you can uh, compile your code, and what it does is it only compiles what it needs to based on whether or not you've made changes to the file. Uh, since the last time you made uh, the program. So, uh, so that's the, the basically what you need to know <laughs> is type make. You can also type generally make clean, which will uh, clean up any of the uh, temporary files that, uh, that may have been stored uh, as you, uh, when you've been um, compiling. And it basically cleans the program and makes it so that it does have to recompile everything. Uh, so, uh, so for instance, if we type make, it will make our program and then hello will exist. Uh, and then if we type make again, it will say hello is up to date, meaning that we don't actually need to compile again. The one thing you do need to remember is when you're using make files, after you make any changes to a program file, text file, uh, .c file or header file, you always need to rerun make so that it recompiles your programs. I don't know how many times I've seen students uh, make some changes to their hello world program and uh, so watch this. If we type hello and then hello.c, oops, that's not it. If we look at uh, hello languages.c and we go and we say, oh, maybe we want to put an exclamation point after world like this and we make the change and we save it and whatever and then we try to write hello again and we say, wait, there's no exclamation point. Well, the reason is because we never made the program again. So you have to type make and it recompiles it for you. And then if you type hello, then the exclamation point will be there. So you have to remember to do that. Now, very quickly, uh, if we want to look at the actual make file itself, this one's a very, very simple one. The ones we use for CS107 are generally more advanced, but this gives the basic idea here. Uh, comments start with a hash and uh, then we define a couple variables in here. In this case, the variable is the compiler we're using, which is GCC, and then some flags, which are just the options we're going to pass to uh, to the compiler. Okay. And then the next line here is the actual. Uh, it says if you're going to do hello, then uh, it says these three files are the ones that can't change. Uh, and if they're not changed, you don't need to rerun it. But if any one of them changes, you need to rerun the following command down here. Okay, and it's just a bunch of dependencies that set it up. Uh, the one interesting thing to note is that this uh, has to be a tab. It can't be a bunch of spaces. So if you're ever writing your own make file and it gives you these syntax errors in there, think about, oh, did I make all my uh, tabs correctly? It's just a weird part of uh, make. But it basically says, uh, okay, if all these if something's changed in any of these files, run this command. Well, it's dollar sign parentheses cc means just replace this with what cc is. So it says gcc, and then then this is replaced with the flag, so dash g dash o zero, etc. And then the rest of this gets compiled, and uh, that's that. And the clean command is that. Now, by the way, I could also type make hello, and it'll say hello is up to date. Uh, make clean uh, removes hello and removes any. Uh, object files, which we'll talk about when we get to that in class. And then if I type make hello again, it will uh, make it. Uh, I believe that the first thing that gets uh, run when you type make is the first one that's that's here. So that's, uh, that's that. So anyway, using make, fairly straightforward. Uh, if you want to dig into how to actually 
modify your make files. There are lots of examples online on how to do that. Thanks.